All right, so I'm hitting y'all with a little bonus speakdom today. One that was inspired by a conversation I had with my friend and by reading the comment section of a recent video. Let's talk about luck. Is luck real? Does luck really play a factor in the events of your life? I'm gonna tell you the truth about luck on this video, the unquestionable truth about luck because the fact is, in my life, there have been times where I've been very lucky and very unlucky. That's life, that's how life is. And every single human being on earth, regardless of who they're born from, where they live, is going to have a seesaw life. In some ways, it's worse than others. In some ways, it's better. But I'm gonna tell you the truth about luck. So recently, I did a video and the video was kind of controversial. And I talked about how if you hate millionaires, well, not mil hate the rich, it's loser mentality because you shouldn't hate somebody who you don't know. It's just, it's just that simple. And there were people in the comments who continued to say that, well, they're wealthy because of luck. First of all, I'm gonna just say this right now. If you're one of those people who actually thinks that every single person who makes it has good luck and it's only luck, congratulations, you are a freaking loser. And you're also envious because what kind of a defense mechanism, what kind of ego do you have to have to say, well, that person only made it because they're lucky? Are you serious? So anybody who ever succeeds in life is lucky or even the majority? No, there's a lot more to it than that. And we're going to talk about that today. Concordingly, if you're one of those people who thinks that they never get a break, I never get my break. I'm, I'm never, I'm so unlucky. First of all, you have to reframe your mind. And I've done videos about this. You do have to reframe your mind a bit. Because if you're constantly telling yourself, and this is a psychological trick, if you're always telling yourself that you're unlucky, then anytime that something happens that's negative, you're gonna catastrophize it, you're gonna make a bigger deal out of it than it was, and you're gonna consider it more unluckiness, right? And at the same time, instead of solving the problem, you're just gonna mope and, and bitch and moan about it. And that's not the right way to solve problems either, you know what I mean? It's just not the right mentality. And maybe I'll do a whole video about reframing your mind, but it's something that people need to do a bit more often because the truth is this. In life, bad shit happens to everyone. Doesn't matter who you are. You're going to have bad days. You are going to have bad days. You are going to deal with loss. You're going to deal with death. You're going to deal with pain. You're going to deal with... All these things are a part of life. There is no way you can avoid pain. And I'm talking about emotional and physical. You can't, okay? So once you accept the fact that pain is a part of life, it does make it a little bit easier to accept when you've had a bad day. You know what I mean? You sort of take it and you say, you know, yeah, this sucks. I got dumped by my girlfriend. I lost a job opportunity. I couldn't win that tournament. But fine. I didn't have a good day. A real alpha will be like, you know what? I lost, and but it's a learning experience. And I'm going to come back harder. And I've talked about how L's are actually learning experiences. But let me tell you the truth about luck. So here's the reality of the situation, guys. If you live in a first world country, maybe even a second world country, but if you live in a first world country, the UK the United States, Canada, Japan, a wealthy country or a relatively wealthy country, it's very difficult to go through life without getting some kind of a break. Everybody gets a break and different breaks in life. Now, the break that you're going to get might not be the same as the break that, I don't know, Beyonce got when she was younger. You, it might not be like that. You might not get a break to become a multimillionaire, but... One thing I know about life, and this is unquestionably true, is that life gives you breaks. And sometimes it's more than one. In fact, usually it's more than one. In your lifetime, you're gonna get some kind of opportunity or some kind of break, right? If you really believe that you are so unlucky that God or the universe is not gonna give you any break, you think that God hates you that much? Like, really, dude? And by the way, I'm only saying this because I had a friend 
once, many years ago, who thought like this. I had a buddy of mine. Um, he was so... We discussed religion once, and he talked about why he didn't believe in God. And he was basically saying, this is years ago. This is like 2003. He basically was like, well, God has not blessed me. And it's like, well, okay, but if you don't believe in God, then why are you mad that God didn't bless you if he's not real? Checkmate. You understand? But that was just one example of his negativity. Even if you're an atheist, you don't have to roll over and be angry at life. Yes, you're going to have times where it's justified anger. You know, a lot of older guys have been through divorces and been through child custody battles. And that's one of the hardest things you can go through as a man, fighting for seeing your kids in court. I've never been through that, but I have friends who have. And it beats it out of you, yo. Sometimes these guys think about checking out. You understand? And that's a hard thing to go through. You may have to bury your parents. In fact, you probably will have to bury your parents. Your parents are going to die at some point. Pets are going to die. Things, bad, ha bad things happen. And you have a right to be upset at them because it's bad. But the reality is, here's how luck really works. In life, you're going to get a break. Something will come along that'll be an opportunity. And here's the thing. You may not even realize it's an actual opportunity until after it already passed. You know how many times I've sat here and I've been like, damn, like when I was 22, I should have done this instead of that. Or damn, I should have listened to what that guy said. Or damn, you know, I was doing good and I could have done better. I do that all the time, yo. But that's how we learn. That's how we improve as humans. That's how we become better. We recognize our past mistakes. That's why, and I didn't speak to him about this before, the idea of no regrets is bullshit. You should not let regrets set you back, but to not sit there and analyze the moves you've made in your life and analyze the mistakes you've made is very foolish. And you're going to end up being unhappy if you don't improve. But when it comes to luck, dude, here's the truth. If you are given an opportunity, it's up to you to take it. I'm going to say that again. When life gives you an opportunity and you don't take it, that's not bad luck. That's you. That is your fault. Now, it's, it might not be your fault consciously. Maybe you weren't mature enough to understand the decision. Maybe you were just lazy at the time. Maybe you didn't really have the foresight. And that happens to all of us in life. Every major success story that I've ever heard of has gone through some kind of trauma, some kind of failure. Everyone from Steve Jobs to Elon Musk to any of these rich dudes, and not even just the super wealthy, even people who are happy. Like, you see a couple, right? And they're happy, they're together. You understand that prior to them getting together, they probably had their heart broken by other people, but it made them stronger. Yes, there are. there is the rare case that you marry your high school sweetheart and it works. But let's be real, guys. In this society nowadays, the probability of that is slim to none. I'd hate to tell you that. This idea of marrying your high school sweetheart and being with her until you're 80 worked for like two generations ago. But it doesn't work anymore. However, there is the off chance it could happen. I'm not going to say it doesn't because it has happened but not as frequent as it used to be. You understand? I'm using that as an example to say this. It's up to you to walk that door. God will open doors for you. It's up to you to open up the door and walk through it. Wait, God will open doors and it's up to you to walk through it. That's what, there you go. I messed up when I said that a minute ago. God, life, the universe, whatever you believe in will open up a door. It's up to you to walk through it. You know, in Titanic, Kaladin Hockley says, a real man makes his own luck. And I respect the hell out of that because the truth is in life, if you are prepared for something, whether it be some kind of athletic competition, whether it be some kind of competition in the workplace, the more equipped you are intellectually and knowledge-wise, the better you're going to be. And the likelihood of you winning goes up. If you're a boxer, let's just say, and you're fighting a big fight, the more you train, the harder you train, the more you study your opponent, the chances are that you're going to win the fight. 
it increases. And that's a metaphor for life. The more you know, the less mistakes you make. But the reality is that we're kind of idiots when we're young. We, we don't think about these things. We make mistakes. But that's part of, that's how you learn. That's part of life. But at some point, you have to take responsibility for yourself. Instead of sitting there and being like, oh, well, you know, bad luck this or I'm unlucky, this and that. Everybody's unlucky until they're lucky. You understand? Every big success story, every big businessman has multiple businesses flop before he has the one that succeeds, or he has the one that succeeds and other ones flop, but he's still taking chances and risks. Now, I'm not saying you should take the risk. That's on you. That's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do on that one. But if there's an opportunity, if life gives you an opportunity and you choose not to take it, you may not even, again, you may not even realize to later in life, but that is on you, buddy. So is it really luck does a real man make his own luck? I think the answer to that is yes. And I think if you sit there and you say things like, oh, that person got lucky, you're just coming off like an envious loser. Like that's that, that the one thing that I have not done during my tenure on YouTube is I've never looked at a big content creator and been like, I don't know why they're successful. They must have got lucky. That's the biggest crock of shit. Like, I'm not that much of a peon to say something like that. Because there's tons of creators on this platform whose content I don't like. There's tons that have personalities that I don't like. There's tons that I know things about privately that none of you know. That makes them bad or good people, whichever one, right? But that doesn't mean that I don't recognize why they're a success. There's a reason. Things don't just happen for accidents, you understand? And I had a friend tell me that the reason why I blew up on YouTube was luck. Fuck that. I blew up on YouTube because I saw an opportunity in 2015. I started uploading. All of a sudden, a new Dragon Ball anime gets announced. This is on Geekdom 101. And I worked my ass off for years to freaking put out these videos. Editing videos until 4 or 5 in the morning. Staying up for spoilers. Sacrificing my relationships and friendships. I could have been an, an, a moron and gone out Saturday night to the club instead of watching and reviewing Dragon Ball Super. But it would have literally cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, I said it. Hundreds of thousands of dollars had I done that on Saturday night. Instead, yeah, it sucks it was on Saturday night, but you know what? I, I hunkered down and I did my job and I worked. And it paid dividends for me. I've been able to buy a house. I got a car. I got a bunch of money invested. I may never be home. In fact, no, I will never be homeless again. And that's because I saw the opportunity. So for somebody to sit there and say, I got lucky, dude. First of all, that person who said that ain't my friend anymore. But I have another friend who kind of said it the other day. And I and we talked about it. And I explained to him, like, dude, did I get a break because Dragon Ball Super was announced? Yeah, but I didn't make that. I didn't manifest that. It just happened, right? But I was the one who was like, fuck it. I'm going to leave IT. Because I remember exactly. I've told this story before. When Dragon Ball started and I started doing my channel, right, Geekdom 101, my goal was to get to 10,000 subs by the end of 2015. I ended 2015 with about 43,000, right? And in January, I was fired from my IT job. And I came home and I told my girl at the time, I'm going to try this YouTube thing for six months. If I don't end up making this a living, I will go back to IT. I had that to fall back on. I had my degrees and my certifications and my experience to fall back on. I still got that stuff. But I don't want to go back because I like what I do now more. You understand? That's not luck. That's called making sacrifices. And almost every person who's a success who is self-made. I'm not talking about generational wealth or inheritances from their parents. I'm talking about somebody who made themselves a millionaire, billionaire, or even less than that. Just made themselves happy. There were sacrifices made. And if you can't recognize that, bro, I'm sorry, but you're a loser and you don't deserve to be in their presence or in mine. And I'm not even joking when I say that. Luck, is there such thing as luck? Sure, but it's a very small part of it.